What's going on, everybody? Poji Force here. You're watching Poji Force Plays, and welcome to an extra special Sea of Thieves video. Have you heard of the tale of Glitterbeard? The legend of Glitterbeard was something that Sea of Thieves added to commemorate the memory of James White, who passed away in March of 2020. He was on the development team for Rare, the company that makes the game, and was responsible for helping to balance new features and troubleshoot issues. He was a dearly beloved member of the community, and was known for putting glitter in his beard to help brighten people's day. As part of that commemoration, Glitterbeard was a pirate who was introduced to the game as a way to carry on James's spirit. And Glitterbeard as a pirate was an artist and a musician who had a habit of seeing the good in people, making new friends, realizing that everyone around him lived lives just as full and meaningful as his own. You've seen his journals, no doubt, scattered around the Sea of Thieves, documenting his stories. And I've actually spent some time reading them all. But there's an extra special one that's not easy to get to and impossible to get to on your own. Because it commemorates the memory of Glitterbeard, you have to follow in the footsteps of Glitterbeard. And that means making friends of complete strangers. You need eight pirates at Plunder Valley performing a particular shanty at a particular time in a particular place. Now, I've been in server alliances and community days where a large group of friends take over a server, and oftentimes that usually evolves into, hey guys, let's go do Glitterbeard. And I've always had to politely decline. Because the spirit of Glitterbeard has always been about making new friends from complete strangers. So even though I appreciated the offer, I had to turn them down because... It's not really in the spirit of Glitterbeard if I'm going to perform the event with people I already know. And instead, I've been challenging myself to try to find the necessary people beyond my own crew to do this in a server. And there was times where I was trying to force it, where I was actively, actively going around, finding other ships, and asking them if they'd like to do Glitterbeard with me. And... Often enough, actually, I would get some people who were very nice, but politely declining the invitation. Until this past Friday. I was sailing with a few friends from my community. AJ, Zach, and a mutual of theirs. And we happened to bump into a sloop. And this sloop was saying, I'm being chased by a reaper, please help. We weren't able to find the Reaper, but we did befriend the Sloop. And then we saw that there was a Reaper over at Reaper Outpost. We're like, well, let's go find them, because that's probably the Sloop, the, the Reaper that was bothering our friend. And we get there, and it's another Sloop, and we start attacking them, and they're like, please don't attack us. We don't have anything left. We're friendly. It's a weird thing to hear from a Reaper, but we're like, you know what? We'll humor them. And we ended up befriending that sloop too. And at this point, we had seven people. And we're like, hey, if we can get one more person, we can do go do Glitterbeard. And our friend who was solo on the sloop opened up his party and we were able to get another person in. And by the end of it, we had eight people. So we're like, let's go do this. Let's go do Glitterbeard. I had personally never seen the event done. I was making sure that I saw it organically. So I had not seen it before. And actually it turned out a lot of the people we were playing with hadn't seen it before either. So we all pile up onto our galleon. Uh, we did bring one of the sloops along, but most everyone was on the galleon. And we go to Plunder Valley. And we get into position. We're ready to go. And we're all excited. And then something happens. Yeah, we're about to get Raju by having their instruments up. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to get... No, you couldn't make yeah. these games go forever, Zach. AJ, get your instrument. We can watch the sun. Get your instrument. Oh. <laughs> I told you. Hell? I told you the game doesn't like Zach. Yep. He really doesn't. Hey, Lando, hey, Lando, I'm standing in the middle, right? Zach, where are you going? Zach! 
No! What are you doing? Dude, the lightning struck his controller! <laughs> I think he died. No! Oh, God. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it now. Guys, you have like 30 <laughs> seconds to get back up here. Get back here. into your spot. Get back into your spot, Pog. That's the wrong spot. That's the wrong spot, Pog. Yeah. yeah. Zach lost... Oh, I think Zach... You know how his... Oh, Typical no. Zach. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Zach Dude, tends to have issues with his internet. House causing a power error. So... Outage. Zach got struck by lightning in the storm. And then immediately after, lost internet connection. It's a little strange how that works out. So, unfortunately, because that happened right at the moment that we needed to do the performance, we weren't able to do it that day. But we were willing to wait. And wait, we did. And it turned out to be in our favor because... While we were waiting for Zach to get his internet back and for us to keep... Uh, to do the uh, event... Something else happened. I'm about to try something and I'm going to laugh if it works. Are you going to fish from there? I'm going to see if I can fish from here. <laughs> oh, not quite. Not quite. Maybe if I hold it a little longer. Oh, God. Ancient. Ancient. I see him. Is that good? That's good. Yes. Oh, my God. I don't know where he is. I got him! Woo! So you could say it was probably fate that made it where we had to wait one more day. Not only were we getting Glitterbeard done, we got an ancient skeleton out of the deal too. But finally the time came back around and we were ready to begin. Five, four, three, two, one, now. You're playing the wrong instrument. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. That was awesome. Dude, that, that was, was actually so, like, yeah. so heartwarming. 
Let's go, dude, that was that was amazing, dude. I, I actually Whoa. like. This is the treehouse, dude. Look at this place. Bro, this is sick. Is that the journal there? Dude, that that is. So this is the journal. Dude. This journal seems to belong to a pirate named Glitterbeard. Hello there, friend. My name is Glitterbeard. You may have found some of my pirate journals tucked away here Got and there. It. If you use their clues to open the door, bravo! The place you're standing now was once our secret treehouse. It was very special to me and my friends, and we thought of it as a home. No, much more than that. It became a monument built to celebrate the bond we all shared. To rejoice that even out on this wild, untamed sea of thieves, we could meet as strangers and part as friends. Friends who would play games together, or shanties, share jokes, or simply be there for one another. We were pirates, yes, but we were all people, too. We should not shy away from that truth. In time, more friends and family already held so tightly within my heart came to join us here. I was thrilled to be able to invite them in to share in the joy I found in this place. Yvonne, Dr. Dad, Lizard, Beanpole, Freeboat, Christian, Nathan, and Ronnie Ann. Some were bemused to find me a pirate, yes, but all were welcome to step inside whenever they wished. Whichever flag you fly, no matter what course you chart, I hope that your days out here are filled with as much joy, camaraderie, warmth, music, and love as mine. My time on the waves is at an end, but if you're reading this, I only ask that you protect the spirit of this place. Make new friends, teach them my secret, and let it strengthen your bond. And I had to do my best to not choke up while reading that, I gotta be honest. Dude, they were playing D&D! No, they weren't. Look at this! They were! That's, that's what oh, this that's was, yeah. Dragon. Dude. We can sit here too. We can sit. We can sit in the chairs. Yeah, I, the only one that you can't sit in is this one. You, you can get on it and do the sitting emo. That's because that is Glitterbeard's I tend chair. I disagree. <laughs> Bro. I'm so Glitterbeard's base was an amazing thing. And it was very heartwarming and moving to go through this event. With all these people, we sh we uh, friend invited each other. I invited some of them to my Twitch, to my YouTube, so that way they could stay in touch. To the Discord, and then we rolled out as an eight-man galleon and kind of just terrorized the seas for a couple hours before people had to go to bed. All in all, it was a really fun and rewarding experience, and I'm happy to have gone through it the way that I did. I'm thankful for this memorial that Rare has put in place to honor one of their own. And I'm going to do something like this similarly in the near future. I'm not going to give you any details about it right now, but please stay tuned. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, everyone, I am Poetry Force, and you guys stay awesome. I'll catch you later.